Salut, boo. Hey. So I kind of just wanted to give a, a brief introduction on the projection of my channel and what I want to achieve. Um, I've been a musician for 20 years now. I started playing guitar when I was 15. Started writing songs straight away. Um, I've played in nine bands or projects over those 20 years um, with basically nothing, nothing to show. Um, I've written songs for myself over the last 20 years um, for other bands and all sorts of other stuff. Lots of little um, promotional music and, and stuff like that. And it's all been very, very badly mixed. Um, it's all been pretty shit. Like a, a lot of the earlier stuff is really bad because um, I was young. Uh, <clears throat> but I've never really put anything out there because it's all been mixed so badly that it's just uh, it's embarrassing, I guess. So now that I'm at a stage where I have all the means to do it, I've got good recording equipment, um, my mixing skills are um, good at an amateur level. I do everything good at an amateur level. I'm not a great musician. I think I'm a better songwriter than I am a musician. Um, I play every instrument, but um, I play them all at a, at a good amateur level. I'm like... Um, uh, a jack of all trades, master of none. Um, so, I'm 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 still gonna. I'll just I'll just put it all on there. I'll I'll record. I want to go through every song that I've ever written, um, lyrics or no lyrics. I might work with some people. Um, I know my brother writes a lot of lyrics, and he doesn't have music, and I've got a lot of music and no lyrics. So, um, might work with him, and get some lyrics on there. Um, might get people eventually if it starts picking up I'll get some people to even feature on songs um, some of the bands that I've played in I might get the singers of those bands to um, come on and do some songs that we never got to finish that they might have had lyrics for um, I'll sing a lot of the songs myself um, but I'm not a great um, lyricist I'm more a, a better um, uh, musical instrument writer than I am a uh, uh, lyricist. <laughs> Fuck! Well, that was unnecessary. Good start. So, in a way, um, over the last 20 years, I feel like I've kind of been... A, you sort of look at it as an addiction to music. Um, because an addiction to drugs is, um, well, the, the definition of, of addiction is the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance or activity, which is, I, I think is a pretty stupid, uh, definition because you're using, this is the actual definition. You, you've used addiction in the definition, which is, you can't do that because if somebody's actually trying to look up, if they don't know what addiction means, and they look up the definition and it says, oh, it means that you're addicted to something. It's like, well, what the fuck is addiction? So anyway, um, so it, it, I kind of look at it as, it is sort of an addiction in a way that when you're on um, drugs or, you know, alcohol, whatever, whatever you're addicted to, gambling, um, when you're, when you've fallen off the wagon, when you're doing them, you, they become, your addiction becomes everything you think about. And for me, the last 20 years, that music is pretty much all I've thought about. I'll be in like, um, social situations or parties or whatever. And, um, I just won't be in the moment. Like if I'm writing music, I'll, that's all I really think about. And looking back at some of that stuff, I have no idea why I was focusing on that rather than the moment that I was in because some of the music's pretty da pretty bad. The worst thing I think is just watching, like, sometimes if I'm writing, I can't even watch a movie or a TV show because I'm not actually thinking about what I'm watching. I'm just thinking about 
the music that I'm writing. So that's pretty bad, I guess. But um, so th so that is the projection of what I want to do. I want to go through and record everything. It might not happen because I'm a pretty pretty bad procrastinator. Um, I like to think that I'm a pro procrastinator, a professional procrastinator, because I'm so good at procrastinating. But I even um, I had an idea to write a book, which was the Procrastinator's Guide to Success. And on the first page, it was going to be the first rule of success is to stay focused. And then it was just going to have 100 blank pages. And then on the on the last page, it was just going to be three bullet points, which said, um, try to be insightful on the first bullet point. The second bullet point was make a point about the fact that you never finish anything. And then the third bullet point is just by itself, meaning that I had meant to write uh, something else in there, but I just procrastinated and um, never finished it. The funny thing about that book is that I even procrastinated making that book because I never made it. So it's kind of like um, a pro poetic procrastination. So for the fact that over the last 20 years I haven't actually put anything out, really, um, it's it's kind of... Music to me is... It's like the thing that gives me hope for the future. Because when I was a teenager and I left school to start a band, I thought that it was going to make me famous. I don't think I ever wanted to be famous but I just wanted to make a living, I guess. And it hasn't done that. So it's kind of been like the thing that's given me hope, but it's also been the thing that's held me back at the same time. I'm now 34 years old. I've got no qualifications. I've got a good job, thankfully. Um, but I've never actually dedicated myself to anything else because of music. I've always thought that music is what I will fall back on. So I kind of want to look at this as just a pledge to the teenage me, I guess, who had hope for um, for the future. Um, and it probably won't go anywhere, but it's for me just to put stuff out there for just for the hell of it. So it'll be a way for me just to hear... Um, a lot of these songs fully realized and maybe I'll update some stuff. I'll try to keep it or as original as possible, but um, I'll sort of try to modernize stuff. Through the process, I'll probably relive some memories. I'll, I'm going to, obviously, I'm going to find some lyrics through um, all the stuff that I've written that are going to embarrass me, but I'll put them out there um, just as they are, I reckon. Uh as a snapshot of what I was as a teenager, a very awkward teenager. I'm still pretty awkward now, um, but I was really awkward back then. Um, along the way, I'll tell some stories about um, the music, some of the songs, some of the um, projects. Um, I'll bore you, I'll bore myself with uh, this monotonous voice that I have and a, the severe lack of enthusiasm that I have, but... I hope that I come out of this, the other side of this, if there is another side, because I'm still writing music, so I'll just put it all on there and um, just see how long it goes for, really, until the unforeseeable end. So, cool. Let's get it done. Ah, uh, Kalibu.